everybody, this is Ted Drozdowski, senior editor of Premier Guitar, and we are here at the 2018 Winter NAM in Anaheim, California, and we are visiting Earthquaker Devices, home of the big gnarly octopus and we're with Corey Heron. Hey man, how are you? Good, how are you man? Good to see you. You've got some new stuff and also some things that have some refinements, but why don't we start with the newest pedal that we made today, which is the Westwood. Yeah, sure, the Westwood, that's our uh, translucent overdrive. So we have a hi-fi op-amp based overdrive in the front end, and then on the tail end of the circuit we have an active EQ with 20 dB of boost and cut set to 80 hertz for the bass and 2K for the uh, treble. So it makes it really useful to uh, tone it or rein in like the boominess of maybe a hollow body guitar and bringing out the pick attack or with bass when you really start compressing it with the gain you can bring back the low end for that you might lose from the compression okay, and the guitar you're playing right now is a non-chambered solid body is that right uh, this is yeah non-chambered solid body going on right now Just to make sure you know give people a focus uh, or rather a uh, some sort of reference point on tone well, let's hear that, Dougie. Yeah, we'll do a little clean tone, and then I'll set the EQ flat and just have a mild gain. That's got a lot of spank, and it's working on a 9-volt DC standard in. Yeah, we got 9-volt standard boss style jack and everything. Cool. Now, the other thing that's relatively new is the data. Now, is that already available at this point? Yeah, all these are available. Yeah, okay. you can get them right now. Okay, great. Now, the data corruptor has been out for a little bit, but tell me a little bit about that since I think that's the next newest pedal we have here. Right, right. So the data corruptor, we have three different voices. It's based on a monophonic PLL circuit. So we have a square wave voice, then a master oscillator, which the square wave fuzz is its source. So it will try to track your signal coming from the fuzz circuit. Then you have a subharmonic oscillator that will either take its source from the fuzz signal or the master oscillator, both of which you have up to three octaves up and down uh, in eight intervals following the overtone series that you can choose from. And uh, that all can go through a modulation section, a frequency modulator, that will either glide the notes up to pitch and down, giving you really cool phasing between the different voices, or uh, you can have a vibrato uh, on the oscillators. Why don't you give us uh, a couple of your favorite sounds on the Data Corruptor, if you would, and just uh, tell us what the setting is and then it'll rip a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Right now I have it set up uh, with a mix of all the voices. So we have an octave down on the bass and an octave and a fifth on the master oscillator. And the uh, glide slightly backed off from all the way to the right. And that's going to give us some really cool phasing between the voices. just the right taste of evil. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> and, and what's that pedal uh, priced at? Uh, 225. Okay. And what about the uh, what about the Westwood? Uh, the Westwood should be, a, I think it's more in the 185 range, but I might be wrong about that. So people should clearly go to the website. Yeah, definitely go to EarthquakerDevices.com or uh, pr check it out on Premier Guitar. Now, now we've still got another minute or two. Why don't you tell us about some of the refinements you've made in these uh, longer lived uh, pedals? Yeah, so the refinements made pretty much. Jamie went through all, he's going through all of our old pedals, retrofitting them for our soft touch relay switching. That's true bypass. Uh, every time that he'll do that, he pretty much revisits the circuit and he seems to just like have a better idea on how to lay it out. So pretty much everything that's been V2 usually has a lower noise floor and a more hi fi kind of sound, particularly the uh, Rainbow machine, which also is uh, highlighting our new switching technology to where you can have either a latching bypass or when holding down and holding over for a, a, about half a second it turns into momentary. So you have that on both the magic switch and the activate. Uh, and yeah, we can just hear it's much more lush sounding. I have it in a chorus mode right now. Yeah, so you can just hold down the magic, get the oscillation back off. Makes it a lot more organic to use. Cool. 
Well, thank you very much, man. We appreciate you visiting with us today. Our pleasure. And uh, as he said, if you'd like to find out more about Earthquaker Devices, go to EarthquakerDevices.com. If you want to see more of what's happening at NAM, go to PremierGuitar.com because we're going to have a lot more video coming your way. So stay tuned.